Hi there, Lara Riggio here, your energy coach, coming to you from my Central Park Energy Center in the heart of New York City. And I'm excited to share with you today an exercise that can help you clear your fear so that you can feel empowered to say no when you need to and to ask for what you want and speak your truth. As an energy coach, my job and my calling is to help you get your energies and your emotions aligned with what you want. And that means, guys, having your, even your habituated knee-jerk reactions aligned with what you want versus what you don't. I ask you, how many times have you done something that you really don't want to do? Maybe out of obligation, out of guilt, out of fear that you might hurt somebody's feelings or piss somebody off, out of fear of criticism, or maybe you even do it for fear that that person might leave or abandon you. Guys, it's no way to live. And today I'm going to share with you an exercise that helps you release the feelings that are making you feel compelled to do these things so that you can say no and you can support your own desires but also the health of your relationships. My good friend and colleague and absolutely brilliant psychotherapist Terry Cole has taught me that when you don't voice your own needs in your relationship, ultimately it taxes the relationship over time. It's not healthy for you, it's not healthy for the other person, and ultimately, it can end the relationship because you won't be happy in it. So for the health of yourself, but also the health of your relationship, you owe it to you and anyone else that you're engaged in relationships with to practice speaking your truth. So to see how this exercise works for you, I'd like you to think about any relationship in which you're having a hard time saying no, you're doing things out of obligation or guilt, or you have trouble speaking up for yourself and expressing your desires. Now, think about what it would feel like to ask for what you want in that relationship or maybe to set a boundary and just say no to something that you really don't want to do. Now, does that bring up any stress or tension in your body anywhere? Check in, do you feel it in your jaw? Is there constriction in your neck? Tightness in your stomach or your back? And we'll re-rate how we feel about this after we do this exercise. So let's tap into wherever we feel that constriction or stress in our body. And you're gonna take your fingertips and you're gonna put them right on your temples. You're gonna to start to rub your temples. And what we're doing right now is we're working with one of the meridians in the Chinese acupuncture system. And guys, acupuncture has been around for hundreds of thousands of years in the Chinese tradition. And it not only helps with physical ailments, but it can alleviate stress and upsetting emotions as well. And the meridian that we're working with right now as you're rubbing your temples is called the triple warmer meridian. It's the meridian that elicits a fight, flight, or freeze response in your body. So as you rub your temples and focus on where you feel the stress in your body, we're telling your body, hey, it's actually okay to calm down right now. As you rub, start to go around your ear, okay? Rub in circles around your ear and know that you're telling your body, hey, it's okay to calm down right now because there's no lions, tigers, or bears here. Nothing life-threatening is happening you're just thinking about setting a boundary. You're just thinking about speaking your truth. Nothing here is life-threatening. You're not gonna die. We're 
just thinking about this. So now go with the bone behind your ears and spend a little time rubbing that because that's a key point along this meridian. And then you're gonna go down the back of your neck, dig into your muscles on either side of your cervical spine. Really dig in there, especially if you feel this in your neck, any tightness or constriction there. And then dig into your shoulders and rub into that upper trapezius and see if you can't give it a little love and relaxation. And then go off your shoulders. Now take your hands over your ears down the back of your neck, just like that. Cross your hands here, and then go off the backs of your arms and just toss it off. You're gonna do it again, focusing on wherever you feel the stress or tension or upset in your body as you're thinking about setting a boundary, saying no, or being able to speak your truth to this person one more time. And you're following along with me as we do this, and then toss. Now. Tap in again to wherever you feel this feeling in your body, and we're gonna do some tapping. By tapping specific meridian points on the hand, along the face, and the torso, we can help our body digest any of these stressful feelings and just release them. So you're gonna start by tapping the side of your hand like this, and you're just gonna to think to yourself as we tap together, even though I'm feeling this tension and stress in my body, I can calm down. It's safe to calm myself down because there's nothing life-threatening happening here. Switch hands. Even though I'm feeling this stress and tension in my body, it is safe to calm down because this is not a life-threatening situation and as I calm down, I can think more clearly about the best way to handle this. Now you're gonna start tapping in between your eyebrows. So tap with me in between your eyebrows as you think to yourself, I can release this feeling. Now move to the sides of your temples. I can release this stress and tension. And as I help my body digest this emotion, I can begin to think more clearly about what I want and the long-term implications of asking for it. Because if I'm afraid to ask for what I want, ultimately, over time, I'm gonna become more and more unhappy in this relationship. Now you're gonna go on your rib cage, and as I become unhappy in this relationship, the relationship is gonna feel more and more uncomfortable to me. And as I feel more and more uncomfortable in this relationship, I'm going to want to avoid being in it or interacting with this person. So, as I'm able to work with this fear and help my body digest this fear and ultimately find the courage and the ease in my own body to ask for what I want, I will be able to do that. And as I feel self-expressed and acknowledge my feelings in this relationship, it can feel better to be in this relationship because doing the opposite and holding things in only makes me feel more uncomfortable. And as I stay uncomfortable in this relationship for too long, it makes me want to end it. And that's not what I want. And I don't think that that's what the other person would want either. So as I tap, and as I release this fear of asking for what I want, I am not only honoring my heart's needs, but I am also taking responsibility for the health of the relationship. As I digest these emotions and help myself clear the fear to ask for what I want, I 
am honoring not only my own heart, but I'm honoring the integrity of the relationship. As I tap and I release my fear of speaking up, I am honoring my own heart's needs and I am also honoring the health and the integrity of my relationship. Now bring that hand down. Now you're gonna find your belly button with your middle finger, okay? Place your middle finger in your belly button. The other middle finger is gonna go in between your eyebrows. You're gonna pull up gently on both of these points and you're gonna take three centering breaths. Breathe in through your nose and exhale the air out of your mouth. You're gonna do it again. Take another deep breath. Exhale the air out. And again, you're gonna take one more deep breath, breathing in and exhaling the air out. We just helped our body digest some of the fear by stimulating meridian points. And as you stimulate all those meridian points, it can help your body digest these emotions over time. So I encourage you to do this in this full routine as you think about setting boundaries. And I, I will tell you, it can get easier and easier with each time you do this exercise. Now we're gonna work with the chakra system. In the Ayurvedic chakra system, we hold emotional energy from our past emotional information from our past. So when we're trying to do something new, like set a boundary we're not used to setting, or speak up when we're not used to doing that, the old information in our chakras can block our ability to physically do it. So we're gonna clear that energy out right now, and we're going to rewire a new concept into each chakra so that it can be easier to do what we want to do in this relationship. So you're gonna take your left hand, you're gonna place it on your forehead right above your eyebrows. You're gonna find your belly button and you're gonna go straight down to your pubic bone at the base of your torso. You're gonna tap that pubic bone, okay? As you think to yourself, I value myself and the health of my relationships. Long term, I know that being honest and clear about what I want is the best thing for both me and my relationship. Pause here and take a deep breath into that energy center. Breathe in right where you're tap, right where you were just tapping. And then exhale the air out. Now you're gonna take that right hand and you're gonna place it right under your belly button. You're gonna tap here as you repeat that same phrase. I value myself and the health of my relationships. Long term, I know that being honest and clear with myself and the other person in this relationship honors the health of this relationship. Pause here and breathe into that area right under your hand. And exhale. Now you're gonna move your hand above your belly button. Tap here and think to yourself, I value myself and the health of my relationship. Long term, I know that as I am honest with myself and the other person in this relationship, I am honoring the health of this relationship. Pause here and breathe into this. Exhale. Now you can switch hands, put your right hand over your forehead, just to give your hand a break, and you're gonna take your left hand on your heart. You're gonna tap your heart chakra as you think to yourself, I value myself and the health of my relationship. Long term, I know, that as I am honest and clear with myself and the other person about what I want in this relationship, it honors the health of this relationship. Pause here and breathe into this. And exhale. Now go to your throat chakra. 
I value myself and the health of my relationship. And as I'm honest and clear with myself and the other person, it honors the health of this relationship. Pause here and breathe into this. Exhale, go ahead and switch hands again. And now you're gonna take your right hand and just tap in between your eyebrows. I value myself and the health of my relationship. Long term, I know that as I am honest and clear with myself and the other person's relationship, I am honoring our relationship. Pause here and breathe into this. Exhale, and then put your hand on the top of your head and tap here as you think to yourself, I value myself and my relationship. Long term, as I am honest and clear with myself and the other person, I am honoring the health of this relationship. Breathe into that chakra. Exhale, and we're gonna do one more hookup. Put your middle finger in your belly button, the other one in between your eyebrows, pull up on these points as you take a deep, calming and grounding breath. Breathe in and exhale. And as you lift up and breathe into these points, I want you to think to yourself, I can ground myself in my power. Breathe in. I can ground myself in my desire to do the right thing for myself in this relationship. Breathe into this. Exhale. Now, I want you to think about how it might feel to actually go ahead and ask for what you want in this relationship. Think about the same circumstance you thought about earlier today. How does it feel now? Different? If there's any anxiety or fear still, you're just gonna keep doing this as you think about that same circumstance. And as you move the energy over time, my clients have reported, I myself have experienced that it gets easier and easier to speak your truth, say no, and ask for what you need. So now, last but not least, I want you to just think about having this conversation. And as you do it, you're gonna trace up your center line and we're gonna increase your own power as you do it. So this traces a meridian line that's called your central meridian and tracing it can just help you feel protected and also more grounded in your power. So think about speaking your truth. Put your hand on your pubic bone and you're just gonna trace up your center line with one hand and then you do it the other. Trace up your center line with the other hand and one more time, go from your pubic bone and think about as you do this and you get to your lips, speaking what you want with love and grace, confidence and ease. As you say anything with love, it can be heard, okay? I wish you the best. Again, please do this exercise as many times as you need to to clear the fear. And know that when you do this, and then you practice speaking up for yourself, you're also speaking up for the health of the relationship. So much peace, ease, and joy.